I like to us to understand there are patterns that run through families. What you see in A, you can see in D. Just as blessings run through families, there are also families that causes run through. It is a rule in the realm of the spirit that all lives are patterned after something. You didn't just fall from nowhere. Lives are patterned through something. That is why I make both to say this. Please, have an understanding of your family history. When you do, you will know the pattern running through your family. There are negative evil patterns that exist in families and in the life of individuals. When these negative evil patterns are in place, there is a serious problem that everyone in the family is bound to encounter. And I want you to understand this. This pattern, they always appear when breakthrough is about to be announced. Just like that young man shared with the Reddit testimony, in some families, nobody crosses 40. There are other families where nobody ever gets married. One brother was sharing his testimony last month. He said he's the first person that has crossed 40 in their family. And he thanked God for bringing him to this church. The others, before they clock 40, the team that collects them will come and collect them.
David Spears. He also was famous in Diane and the Diane Painter. Whatever looked like a pattern in your family, by prophetic intervention, the spell will break. Patterns didn't start with you. It has been there. They call it generation. It is in the gene. Our parents did not only transfer positive genes, they also transferred spiritual liabilities. They transferred natural, biological spiritual liability. So from the word gene, that's where you get generation. So every gene that is transmitted transmits both positive and negative. Sins we are transferred to her. That's why we just say by one man sin came and all men died. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The spiritual action and conditions of our fathers is what attracts either the blessings or some of the classic patterns that took place from scripture. Now, Abraham happened to be the symbol of generational blessing. Am I correct? But let's see something. Abraham lied that Sarah was his sister. Two of us. Isaac also lied that Rachel was his sister. So the lying spirit. <laughs> Are you seeing something there? So he lied. He transferred it in. From Isaac the professional liar I matched. Jacob. Jacob was the one that started 419. <laughs> Scripture called him a swindler. And you don't know the name of a swindler? OBT. Obtaining by tricks. So if you are a liar, God will deliver you today. you to hear this. Don't wait for your children to catch your negative traits. Pray God to deliver them. Because if they catch it, they will multiply it. I will show you how it's multiplied. David was a humanizer. He killed Uriah's wife, Uriah, Uriah and collected the wife. Am I correct? Solomon, his son, came <laughs> and had how many wives? How many? No, he had 300 wives and 700, which means in one year they are sharing 3 3. Three per day. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now, he didn't end there. His son, Solomon's son, how many of us know Solomon's son? He's called Rehoboam. 
<laughs> he did, seems to say he did more wickedly than his father. They couldn't count his own. Second Chronicles chapter 11, verse 26. Why are you laughing now? We are tracing the root of pattern. Second Chronicles chapter 11, verse 26. Verse 26. Verse 26 now. Abba. Technica, I will visit you today. I promise you I will visit you today. Let's read from verse 20. Second Chronicle 11 verse 20. And after he took Micaiah, the daughter of Absalom, which bare him Abijah and Otter and Ziza, and Rehoboam loved Micaiah, the daughter of Absalom, above all his wives and his concubines, for he took eighteen wives and placed them on the line, and he began to treat and eight sons and placed them daughters. And Rehoboam made Abijah, the son of Micah, the chief, to be ruler among his brethren, for he thought to make him king, and he did wisely. The countries of Judah and Benjamin, Benjamin, unto every fence city, and he gave them virtual in abundance, and he desired many wives. Is that in your Bible? Recently, a young man. In our church, I only I discovered him late. If not, I will have kobukoed him. The son who is in primary five went and pregnanted somebody. He said, hey. "He pregnanted somebody." Instead of being angry with him, he said, "Leave him, John. Bring the baby. Nala him go come." After all, how did I marry you? Immediately I had that. I, I invited the man. When I invited him, what I told him that you have established a pattern. It will run through your family. You have established a pattern. It will run through your family. Because of your foolishness and spiritual carelessness. Your son has repeated your mistake. And I bet you it will continue. What many people are suffering now is pattern. Pattern. If you are misbehaving now, there is a pattern in your family that you have carried. Write it down. I said so. You will prove me right or wrong in no distant time. There's a sister. <laughs> I'll still go to the next one, but let me say this now. All her sisters, they gave birth before they married. She was the only one that was remaining. Now the mother got angry with her. You wait till they wait. Wait till they wait. Meaning, do likewise. She not told the mother that it won't work. That she will, she must marry clean. The mother said, okay, let's see. Uh, you have not seen anything. Oh yeah, let's see. She came back to the church and cried. I said, if truly we represent Oyedekbo here, you will marry clean. It was a war, physical and spiritual. They were attacking her in the dream, attacking her in the physical. She stayed put, dedicated, committed, and the heavens opened. 
She was the only one that married clean. I won't forget one that happened in Benin when I was resident pastor. Sapele Road. She was believing God to marry. Committed. Doing everything. She now has the mother. Are you not joining me in this prayer? Do you know what came out from my mother? Me, I'm married. Me, I'm married. Meaning, go and do what we did. She said, God forbid. He said, if you say that God forbid, now we will drive you come up from this house. Not knowing that the mother was in a marine court. And I gave her some prayer points and she started the prayer. When she started the prayer, the mother told her, stop that prayer. Stop that prayer. She came and told me, I said, continue the prayer. When she continued the prayer, the mother was, um, was sick, not almost, was sick. And after that, okay, yeah, follow me, let's go and see your pastor. When she now came, I asked her, do you want to die or you want to live? Because she must marry. He said, pastor, no be me do amo. Now so we meet amo. I led her to Christ, prayed for her. I said, yeah, release your daughter now. Release her immediately. So I told her what to say. She was repeating after me. She prayed for her. And they left. She said, Pastor, this woman never changed you. I said two things. Either she leave you alone or she will go and you will stay married. Any pattern running through your family must let you go today. Yeah. Another classic example of pattern is Levi and Simeon. They had a sister called Diana. Diana was molested and they carried a sword to kill the person that molested their sister. But you know what? Their own pattern was anger. They inherit, Levi inherited anger from their father, their grandfather, Moses. Anger was their character. You remember Moses murdered somebody in the wilderness. The same anger followed them. The same way anger prevented Moses from entering the promised land, anger followed them. So if you look at the life of many, you see traces of pattern. There are patterns of failure. There are patterns of miscarriage. There are patterns of smallness. I won't forget one pastor that I met in one of my stations in Cross River. All the people that married from the family they, he got married, all of them had accidents with broken leg. Yes. They didn't know that it was pattern. He didn't even know. <laughs> it's just like five of you now, you marry from one family. God forbid you. <laughs> The forces in the family broke all of their legs. You had to see them broken leg, this one broken leg, this one broken leg, this one broken leg. Pattern. Pattern of causes can make people for their head not to be lifted. You say, and none did lift up his head. Let's read this Zechariah chapter 1. From verse 17. Zechariah chapter 1. Studio. I pray you don't fail this time. Cry it saying. Thou say the Lord of hosts. My city. Through prosperity. Shall yet be spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet comfort Zion. And shall yet choose Jerusalem. Then lift I up my eyes. And saw and behold four horns. 
And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Go on now. Then said I, What come this to do? And he spoke, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these have come to free them, to cast off the horns of the Gentiles, which have lifted up their horns over the land of Judah to scatter it. So there are forces that keep families on the same spot. We call it collective captivity. Keeps everyone in the same level of bondage. It's a cause. And such causes are sponsored by the activity of the strong man. Today, the strong man of your family will die. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. When pattern is at work, the forces of household wickedness is strengthened. Now, Judah slept with Tamar. Who is supposed to be his daughter-in-law? That was how Pharaoh was given battle. This also affected David. Which now went and accomplished his own in Uriah. Absalom <laughs> did more wickedly Scripture said that he slept with ten of his father's wives. Oh, you didn't know the story of Absalom, where right? You think it's only rebellion? So you see, when pattern is at work, negative event becomes continuous. But you will end it today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So you don't allow pattern to follow you. How do you know that pattern is at work? You see two dreams. There are some wrong, wrong dreams that appears. It's a sign that pattern, 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 pattern. When pattern is at work too, you are born again. I'm not contesting whether you are born again or not. Anytime a breakthrough is about to appear, watch out. Either you are eating food in the dream, or you are wearing primary school uniform. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Huh? Or you see yourself making love in the dream. It's a pattern that the forces are about to puncture a breakthrough. You don't allow pattern to appear in your life again. If not, you will be close to breakthrough. But the closer you get, the farther you see. I, I remember the case of um, T.D. Jakes. His grandfather, his great-grandfather died of what? Yes, his, his great-grandfather died of obesity. His grandfather died of the same thing. Now the demon of obesity was after him. As anointed as he is, one day, say with me, one day, one day. the Holy Ghost now showed him in a vision that this thing is not normal. This is what killed your great-grandfather, killed your grandfather, and is now after you. Deal with it now, or your children will inherit it. That was when he now knew that what was after him was not normal. He had to start firing back. You will fire back today. He started firing back. Firing back before you know what's happening. The thing was destroyed. And that was how 
Obe the demon of obesity left him. That's why in some people you hear it's our, it's our family sickness. It's your family demon. That's the power that has been de delegated to keep everyone on the same level of causes. I remember some years back when we were still we were still a um, constable in, in the faith. Then nobody crosses 50 in my family. All the ones that have that we are they've already gone. So it was getting to my father's store. My elder sister was born again. My mom was born again. My elder brother was born again. I was just newly a recruit. <laughs> so we started praying. We started praying, 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 praying. I took a fast for the first time. I saw something I've never seen before. I saw something that looked like a spider web, but not the normal spider web. The, the web was now the size of electric pole. The normal electric pole you are used to. So when I saw it, I said, Lord, what is this? The Holy Ghost just quickly whispered to me. He said, this is the force that has kept everybody on the same level. My Bible turned into a knife that, that, in that dream. I just give you, pa! Thing was just, pa! I woke up sweating. I didn't sleep again. I didn't tell anybody since it was only me, he showed. I started praying. The barrier has been broken. 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 And I thank God before my father passed on, he crossed 85. There are others, they have pattern of breast cancer in their family. I won't forget one family, all of them have spirit husband and spirit wife. <laughs> it's a sign that there is a marine covenant inside that family. Caging everybody. But whatever pattern is running through your family, I speak forth today, it will expire. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. There's one we normally use as um, anytime we go to the village, we make sure our children see it so that they will not repeat, they will not do evil. We'll take them and say, you see this man? Before he marry, he get picking up. Even the wife, before he marry, he get picking. Look at the children, one, two, three, four. Before all of them marry, they, they go get picking outside before they marry you. They say, say, Daddy, what is the meaning of that? I say, you have been hearing me talk about spirit or pattern. They are example. They are what? Do you know why? The fathers, even though the thing took place, they did not deal with it. So the children repeated it. Anything you don't deal with now, you transfer it as a spiritual liability to your children. So you must deal with it. That's why you can see a believer is doing well, but something is still following him. I remember one that was to happen, but for God's intervention, that man escaped. A regional bank manager in one of the flourishing banks is married 12 years. The marriage has reached 12 years. So one of my pastors now called me that, uh, sir, I will need your intervention in this thing. I, I can't really explain what he's doing this man. I see what's happening. He said, he's tired of his wife. I said, for what? He said, the breast is too small. Don't laugh. He said the breast is too small. 
I said, put the phone on speaker. He said, sir, do we call? I said, no, no, put the phone on speaker. He put the phone on speaker. I called the brother, I greeted him. The first thing I told him, brother, he's about to kill you. He started crying. I said, no, don't cry. When you saw the woman, you know, see the small breast. Now she has suffered with you. Labor with you. You have reached regional manager. You don't get small breasts. No be your picking soccer. I said if you want the breast to be big, you have the money. You can go and do physiotherapy. So that you go be like Dolly Party. I said, you don't need any special deliverance. If you want to die quick, that was how I gave it to him. If you want to die quick, repeat the error of your father. I said, pastor, ask him. I will not be mistaken that your father has two wives. He said, yes, sir. I said, that's how your papa get her. And you won't get your own. So when pattern begin to follow individuals, the first thing they begin to do is to mess up. Anytime you are messing up, the evil fathers of your father's house don't they call you. You begin to do things which was not naturally your behavior. Which was not part of your lifestyle. And I know when such things begin to take place, a breakthrough is about to be punctured. Why? Causes puncture breakthroughs. The best thing that can happen to any one of us here is not to repeat. Say with me, not to repeat. The errors that have taken place in your families. Because if you repeat it, maybe the thing they check you. If you repeat it, it will go to your fourth generation. And you know, because of pattern, many destinies cannot enter into their glorious future. Because of the spiritual liabilities that has been inherited. And when you inherit spiritual liabilities, it makes your life even more difficult. More difficult. More difficult. But my prayer for you today Scripture says Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Being made a cause. And what Christ redeemed us from is what the Holy Ghost is here to execute. I didn't mention this, but I just remembered it now. Now, even barrenness, if you check it, it was almost like pattern. Abraham 25, Rachel tw almost 24. It's just like that. But today, <laughs> he said, we we'll cut his work short. So, whatever has taken long, God is cutting in short today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. So, if Jesus has redeemed us from the cause of the law, what you are to enter is the blessing. The blessing. Blessing. The blessing. Just as causes are initiated through covenant or pronouncement, likewise, blessings are released through pronouncements. And my belief is that today you will enter the blessing. Amen. Today the pattern following you will disappear. Amen. Rise up to your feet. We're going to spend the remaining 
six minutes or seven minutes praying. Let me say this before we pray. Maybe some people don't know. How many of us know Benny Hinn? All his brothers suffered the same thing. They suffered divorce. All his six brothers, whether five or the six, all of them suffered divorce. As anointed as he is, Satan almost blinded his eyes from seeing that this thing will affect him. Until finally the woman wake up one day and says he's not marrying again. That was how the church closed now. Now became an evangelist full time. That was how the church closed. Prayer started going on. It was last year. Last year. Last year. So you can still be anointed and part of is pursuing you. It was last year. Through intense prayer. He didn't give up. Oh. Through intense prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Finally, the Holy Ghost was the one that went to to make her give up. She gave up. She said, let's come back. And that was how Benihim was restored. In fact, eh, I celebrate. Oh. I celebrate. Before we pray, if you are not born again, your pattern too strong. You need to be saved for Jesus to break the yoke. You want to make it right with Jesus wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, just come right now. You mean more than the world. Everybody bring out your oil. To me. If you are coming, come quickly. Just come. Don't look for oil. I have oil here for you. I will give you small. To me. You mean more than the world. If you are coming, come on. You don't need to be ashamed. You mean, you mean more than the To them that come unto me shall I in no wise cast out. You are here standing now representing your family. A blessing for one is a blessing for all. Just as one person can open the door of courses, one person also can be used to rewrite the story. I've seen it work, so it must work for you. As we pray now, see it, believe it. He that the Son set free. So, there is no pattern too strong that the Holy Ghost cannot break. That's why he's called the yoke destroyer. He destroyed the yoke from the foundation. 
Hear me? Pattern can li limit your breakthroughs in life. They can limit your success. They can limit your favor. Limit your lifting. Instead of going from breakthrough to breakthrough, you be going from cycle of failure to failure. But today is the last day. You are going to say, Lord, by this oil, Holy Ghost, destroy the pattern of causes in my family. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, those of you that didn't come with your oil, open your hand and borrow from the person beside you. Attach, attach. Please. They are tachi, attachy. Give them small, give them small. Make sure you put it in somebody's hand. Have you collected? Have you collected? Make sure you give someone. But please, the next anointing service, come with your own oil. You, know. you are borrowed today, so somebody must borrow from you next time. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Take the oil on your palm. Pastor, carry this now. Make sure you put in all this oboza. Yes. Put in all of them. Put all of them. Small, small. You are pouring it plenty. They are borrowing. So don't pour plenty. Okay. Okay, there are three at the, at the back. See three at your back. Oh, yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Scripture says his fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly, not partially, thoroughly purge our floor and burn with unquenchable fire. And Jesus said, whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. You are going to pray. Fire of God, sweep through my life. Destroy every pattern of wickedness. Every pattern of causes. Pattern of failure. Pattern of shame. Pattern of disappointment. Pattern of marital spell. Pattern of delay. Pattern of lack. Whatever represents an evil pattern in my life. In my family. Holy Ghost, by your fire, destroy the yoke of the wicked. Lift up your voice and pray. Every pattern trailing my destiny, haunting my glorious future. Pattern of curses, pattern of shame, pattern of affliction. Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Pattern of shame, pattern of failure, pattern of limitation. Be destroyed. Go ahead now. Negative pattern. Lekatoso. In redolo payata. Pray. Every evil pattern. By the anointing. I break. Every spirit or pattern in my life. Pattern of causes. Pattern of reproach. Pattern of lack. Pattern of failure. Pattern of disappointment. Pattern of misfortune. Break by fire. Holy Ghost. By the anointing. Whatever God has not planted, 
destroy the yoke. Destroy the yoke. Rekatosete. Likatobiaba. Labadados. Labadados. Enagadekus. Jekotero. In la cote pene tu sata. Every pattern of hardship, pattern of lack, pattern of untimely death, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Whatever represents a negative pattern of wickedness, of causes, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, lift up your voice and pray your voice and pray that evil pattern must be destroyed you are coming out you are coming out in the name of Jesus pattern of failure of shame pattern of hardship pattern of disappointment every limitation my life has suffered by reason of negative evil pattern of curses Jesus has redeemed me by the fire of the Holy Ghost break now break now be destroyed now in the name of Jesus be destroyed now nekatariado soto in tekata likopo jetutu nage reklepebre di sosaleta Irreclecuta Paris and Nakoto Peredosa Neroro Shikoteberida Lanzelare di Godoloso Yekotopredia Bababa Laborado Shakoteria Balada Nazeketere tu in Socoterete Lecoterio Let your fire swallow every chaff negative pattern be swallowed up in the name of Jesus whatever has been haunting my destiny trailing my family fire of God destroy the yoke destroy the yoke thank you Jesus Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus name, we have prayed. Place your right hand on your head as I pray for everybody. Whatever God has not planted that has been thrilling you, that embargo is shattered now. Whoever is the strong man delegated to enforce evil pattern in your family, I bury them by fire. The negative evil pattern that has limited everyone in your family, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. The marine serpent that has held everyone to a standstill. Die by fire. Anyone here under the spell of spirit wife and spirit husband? <laughs> it is written Whosoever defiled this temple, God Himself will destroy. Spirit husband, spirit wife, fall down and die. Fall down and die. I decree your liberty in the name of Jesus. Any family serpents that have been swallowing your words, they pursue you in the dream, pursue you in the physical. 
I kill that serpent in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft coffins that has heard and locked up everyone. I command their pots break by fire. Break by fire. Today mark the end of their dominance. Today mark the end of their control. Wherever they lock you, Jesus said, I have the key of David. Any door I close is closed. Any door I open is open. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring you out in the name of Jesus. I bring your family out in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have been denied in life from today, by the supply of the Spirit, let that blessing begin to locate you. Let the door open for you. Let breakthrough be announced over your life. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hand unto God and give him thanks for answer prayer. Everybody, face this way. Follow this man. Follow this man. Wave your hand and give him thanks. Whatsoever the Lord doeth shall be forever. Appreciate God from the depth of your heart. And say, Father, I thank you. I thank you. Not only for yourself, for your brothers, for your sisters. Lift up your voice and thank God. Appreciate him for answer to the prayers. God is not a liar.